we are right back at it for another day and let's talk about it right off the top. I am on my coldest streak of the summer. Haven't won a bet since Tuesday. You can't hide from it though, right? You don't break out of a cold streak on the sidelines. I'm not going to run away from it. I'm going to run right into it, god damn it, because I don't want to be eating potatoes all weekend. I want to have some steak with those potatoes. So let's get right into it. Three picks for Major League Baseball, then a couple spots for the NFL preseason games here on Saturday. So we need to get a W here. We need to get a win. Not going to sugarcoat it at all. So the team that I think that's offering the best value in a situation where I give them the starting pitching, hitting, and bullpen advantages, the Los Angeles Dodgers tonight, minus 149 in New York to take on the Mets. So they got Julio Urias on the mound for them. And he's been a great guy to back. The Dodgers are 17 and six in his starts this season, 10 and three on the road. And he's been pretty lights out here lately. Two or fewer earned runs in seven of his last eight starts. Then we take a look at the hitting here. OPS over the last two weeks, fifth versus 24th in favor of the Dodgers, not even close. Then we take a look at the bullpen over the last two weeks. 205 ERA for the Dodgers versus 440 for the Mets, not very close there. The Dodgers have just had the Mets number. They've absolutely obliterated them over the past couple seasons here. 16 and four in the last 20 games against the Mets. So we'll take the Dodgers minus 149. Next up, a couple strikeout props for you. We're gonna start things off with Nick Pavetta of the Red Sox. He is at home taking on the Baltimore Orioles. His number is at five and a half for a strikeout total. We're gonna fade Pavetta. Minus 105 on the under for that one. So he's gone under five and a half in four of his last five starts. He's been really, really bad at home at Fenway Park this season. Four or more earned runs in five of his last six at Fenway. An 8.74 ERA in that span, not very good. Then we take a look at Baltimore here. Not a team that's striking out a whole lot here recently. They have the third lowest strikeout percentage versus right-handed pitching over the last two weeks. 10th overall in OPS in the span. So not great, but definitely above average. So let's hope they can get to Pivetta early and chase him out of that game. Next up, Mitch Keller of the Pirates. Any Mitch Keller fans out there? I most certainly am not. I'll be rooting against this guy tonight. Your strikeout total is at four and a half. What do you think we're doing? We're taking the under. Minus 140, a little juicy for some. Maybe I do think it is worth it though. So let's take a look at Keller who's been on and off the DL. You take a look at his last four starts. This goes all the way back to June. He missed all of July, but his last four starts, really bad stuff. He's gone under four and a half strikeouts in all four games an 8.59 ERA with a 611 FIP in that span. Then we take a look at the Brewers hitting. They have the lowest strikeout percentage versus right-handed pitching over the last two weeks. Let's hope the Brewers can get to Keller like they got to the Cubs there the past couple days. So Keller under four and a half. Next up, NFL preseason. Some might frown upon betting on the NFL preseason, but I think there's a couple of spots here over the weekend that I like absolutely. Uh, I put a lot of stock into head coaching. Uh, different coaches take different approaches to the preseason. Someone instill that winning attitude right off the bat. And these are the guys and the teams that we will target. And we're going to start with my favorite spot. It is the Baltimore Ravens minus two and a half versus the Saints. So why do I like the Baltimore Ravens in this spot? Well, they've won 17 straight preseason games with 10 of those wins coming by double digits. So they definitely keep their foot on the gas here in the preseason. And John Harbaugh is an absolute covering machine in the preseason. He has a 34 and 15 against a spread record in the preseason. That's a cover percentage of 69.4%. So give me the Ravens minus two and a half. Next up, my Miami Dolphins. You think I'm a Dolphins fan? Check out that helmet in the back there. Uh, they're an underdog, plus three and a half taking on the Bears, and I follow the Dolphins pretty closely, right? They just had two days of practice against the Bears, and we take a look at the head coaching matchup in this one. Uh, I think Brian Flores is gonna get much more out of that than uh, Matt Nagy. You know, Flores is a guy who's in the conversation for one of the better coaches in the league. Nagy's a guy who's barely hanging on to his job here. So I think the Dolphins, they're gonna get the advantage out of uh, practicing against the Bears for two consecutive days. A lot of the starters are expected to play, especially Tua, 
who's been having a great preseason, by the way, if you've been following reports. And then uh, you take a look at how Flores has done in the preseason. Small record here, but 4-0 and against the spread. 3-1 uh, straight up in those games, though. So give me the Dolphins as an underdog, plus 3.5 versus the Bears. And we'll wrap things up with the Vikings, plus 2.5, taking on the Broncos. And this is kind of like the other ones, just following the trends here. Mike Zimmer in the preseason, he's been fantastic. 17-8 and against the spread, covering at 68%. So Dolphins, Ravens. Vikings preseason picks, just small bets, right? Just a little bit of entertainment because I will be watching the games. Want to get some action in on it. So those are my bets for tonight and for tomorrow. Whatever you decide to do, unless you're fading me, God damn it! Good luck, and as always, keep chasing that paper. Woo! Everybody